Hey, what's up, Resistance? This is Joy here on YouTube. Uh, this is another installment on the Learning is Living series. Uh, I forget what number it is. Uh, eight, nine, somewhere around that area. Uh, I don't really remember. Uh, not that that's that important anyway. Uh, what I'm going to talk about today is this is one that everybody uh, at some point in time or another is going to deal with some form of this. Uh, some more than others. Uh, some will never know about it. You know, whatever. You know, it, it, it's going to happen, people. Uh, but anyway, what I'm going to talk to about today is uh, mental health, mental illness or disorders, stuff like that. Uh, it, this is one that is going to go in down in everybody's book as being affected by uh, whether it's just a slight bout of depression or all the way up to uh, extreme schizophrenia uh, in a SHTF situation you're going to see this you're going to see more of it uh, it'll be more prominent because uh, I mean the, the resources may or may not be there. I guess it really depends on the uh, the uh, the event that's happened. Uh, you know, if it's short term, you're going to see panic, which is not necessarily a form of mental illness, but you know, it could be a uh, trigger, an onset for it. You know, something that can uh, cause a uh, mental illness, uh, and I, I'll. Go. I got a list of uh, several uh, forms of mental illnesses, and there's more out there uh, than what I've got on this list. Uh, this is just some that I've run across. But mental illness, it you know, it it affects your mood, your way of thinking, uh, behavior, uh, how you make decisions in life on uh, everyday things uh, you know you may uh, be suffering uh, from a mental illness in a SHTF and, and cause you to decide to do something that you wouldn't normally do or it may even be the wrong decision but you, you wasn't in the right frame of mind at the time uh, so to speak so Anyway, you, here's some of the ones that I've got listed. Uh, you got neurodevelopmental disorders, which uh, goes into uh, ADHD, ADD, uh, a lot of stuff like that. That you know that is something that's I don't know. I kind of think they use this as a escape route for kids that really need attention at home from the parents uh, so to speak yeah i'm sure there is some some kids out there that truly have a adhd add disorder uh now from my understanding you the adhd attention deficit hyperactivity disorder and then the other one attention deficit disorder one has the hyperactivity one does not from my understanding on this um, and like I say I think some kids are probably misdiagnosed with this uh, just to I don't know throw a pill at the problem and see what happens people uh, that's that's kind of the way I think about it. You know, you, some of these kids they get uh, really zoned out. You know, they're they're placed in a state that, after a period of time, that you know, the parents, the teachers, and even the uh, teenager themselves thinks, well, this is how I'm supposed to be. This 
you know, I, I take this medication because this is how I'm supposed to be. This is my normal activity. Well, I mean, maybe it's not. Maybe there's something else going on there. But anyway, let's let's roll on, people. Uh, you got uh, schizophrenia, uh, bipolar disorders, uh, depressive disorders, uh, disorders caused by stress and tension, uh, anxiety, and, and stuff like that. You know, treatments from these range from uh, counseling and medication all the way up to hospitalization. Uh, it, like I say, you know, it everybody's going to deal with some type of this at some point in their life. Uh, it's just inevitable now just because you're, it's a normal process, I think, uh, for the most part. Uh give you an example say you've lost a loved one uh they they've succumbed to an illness they've passed away you know whatever's happened uh yeah you're naturally going to be depressed you're going to be sad you're going to be you know upset angry all these emotions uh, you know and you, these these can be looked at as a uh a mental illness or mental disorder or something that is affecting your mental health uh, it's it's natural people now there are some things that go on inside the brain that uh, goes from being a natural occurrence of, of, a, of a mental issue to a uh, one that may need more attention uh, so you may have a uh, chemical imbalance in the brain or, or something like that you know and then uh, these can be onset by all kinds of situations. Uh, you know, people just, for lack of a better term, just kind of lose it sometimes. Uh, you know, in an SHTF situation, well, let's back up just a little bit. In today's world, you see this a lot. You see it a lot more than what you normally would uh, from, you know, from, say, when I grew up. Uh, I mean, we didn't have the problems that's going on like like we have today uh you know there, there's things that's going on out there's in the streets and stuff uh y'all may not have personally see it but you know it's there i mean just take california for example uh look at the the situations that's on the streets over there i mean the homelessness the uh drug use uh just the lack of mental care there is is unreal and it's it affects the state uh, affects everybody in the state uh, y'all have seen how how this rolls uh, you know in an shtf situation the the things that you're going to need to help through this is not going to be there uh just throw some, let me throw one out here. Okay, say so you uh, suffer with bipolarism, all right? Um, is it medicated? Now, if it is medicated in a SHT situation, and and I'm, I mean, you know, one that you're not going to be able to get your medications. Uh, what what's going to happen with this? Uh, how are you going to be able to do? what you need to do uh, in a uh, SHTF situation if you're not medicated. And this goes with any kind of illness that requires a medication, people. Uh, I mean, I don't really know if there's natural herbs and remedies and stuff like that that can help with this kind of thing. I, I don't know this. Uh, I'm sure there is some, some things out there that can help calm a person down. Uh, but you know for the most part I mean this may be just something that you have to deal with uh, this could become a dangerous situation for people uh, I, you know I look for this to happen in a SHTF uh, very 
I think it's going to be a big, big, big problem, people. And I, I don't really want to use the word problem. Uh, but, you know, until I can come up with something better, that's what it's going to be. That's what it's going to be called. Uh, there's not going to be no hospitals for the most part that's going to be able to help the mentally ill. Uh, you've got some people out there that's going to really lose it. Uh, now, what are these people going to do? Who knows? You know, th there's no telling. I mean, they could become violent. Uh, they they could, you know, just dance around the streets and sing to the stars, for all I know. Uh, they could harm themselves, uh, harm others. Uh you know, there's just so many other things. Uh, then you've got people that are uh, schizophrenic and will become schizophrenic. And, uh, this, the, you know, these, these things are going to happen. Everybody is going to have to deal with some type of mental illness, people, in SHTF. Uh, I will. You will. Everybody in my bag will. Everybody that listens to this video will. Uh, it's inevitable. Uh, and I don't, there ain't no amount of prepping I think that you can do to uh, deal with this. It, you know, I'm not saying that everybody's going to become nut jobs and we're all going to wipe everybody out. I, no, I don't think it's going to go like that, people. But, you know, we're going to be. Uh, going through changes in life in SHTF. Uh, these changes, you know, for the most part, it's not going to be for the good of civilization, uh, but we'll survive, we'll get through it. <clears throat> but we're all going to suffer depression at some level. Uh, I, I just don't see, sit here and see how you can't. Uh, so, I mean, everybody is used to the modern conveniences of today's time. I mean, uh, you know, that's, that's like I'm sitting right now in a warm house. I've got electricity. Uh, I've got a good hot cup of coffee right here that I made in a coffee pot over there. You know, just put the stuff in it, hit the button, and let her do its thing. Uh, you know, there's... Got a fire in the fireplace over there with the blower going. Uh, you see behind me in the background, I got this refrigerator and freezer. Uh, you know, it's it's got, you know, I want something to eat. I can go over there and grab it out and heat it, eat it, and go on. Uh, uh, you know, we've got uh, hot running water, uh, running water, uh, as far as that goes. Uh, you know, just modern conveniences and this one you're going to see a lot of problems come because of the lack of that you've got a lot of young people and older people uh, that are addicted to those things uh, you know they're you, you constantly look around I mean you see uh, here yeah I don't want to watch that no well what's this no, I, I, oh boy, did you see this uh, oh look there's the latest TikTok you know that's not going to be there, people. It, it's going to be done. Now, you don't think that won't cause some uh, mental issues? Uh, yeah, we'll wait and see on that one. Uh, you know, that's that's not taking a. Uh, 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 you, you, you take a. Uh, let's say uh, the drug heroin. You know, they say that's one of the most addictive drugs that there is. And uh, very, very few people ever recover from that addiction. Uh, I don't know. Uh, couldn't tell you. Uh, just go by what I've uh, read and heard on this. Uh, that's going to be like taking uh, heroin away from the, the younger people and the people that is addicted to it. I refer to the younger people because that's who I see on it mostly. Uh, you know, I, I, I'm guilty of it myself, people. Uh, you know, I go to work. Uh, I put my little earbuds in. You know, I spend 10 hours a day working on cars. 
Yeah, I know. We're listening to something. And, uh, you know, we we have a, uh, a radio at the shop, and it's usually set on something that I really don't care to listen to. So, you know, I put that in, and I have my own choice of listening. Uh, you know, I listen to videos, uh, uh, music, uh, audio books, uh you know, all different kinds of things. Uh, and be honest with you, a lot of times I'll have my earbud in and it, it's playing and it, it's just it's just noise. You know, it's not there. I'm, you know, I'm not even focused on what's what's playing in my ear. Uh, but it, it feels uh, an area of need that I have at work. I mean, you... I don't know if you've if you've ever listened to satellite radio, but I don't care uh, if you put it on a music channel. You know, once you hear the same fifteen songs that they have seven times in a day, you know you kind of get real burned out on it. I and mean, you go for one well, just a channel, and uh, your coworkers look at you like, "Well, what are you doing? We're listening to that. I mean, you've been listening to this for two months, dude. Change it up." Anyway, I don't get into that argument no more with them. I just deal with my own little thing and go on. Uh, but, yeah, you take that away, and I'm going to get ill. I'm going to get cranky. Uh, I'm going to, you know, probably say a few uh, negative comments, and it's going to cause tensions. So if that little bit can cause some disruption in your everyday life, Think of what it would be on a mass event, on a mass scale. Uh, now, I know that, you know, I can chunk that off to the side, and, that, you know, with some adaptation, I'll be fine. You know, no big deal, no sweat. You know. Uh, you know, I got a lot of other things I can do to keep me mentally active. Uh, it's not really being mentally active, I don't think, but it's... It's just filling that void, like I said before. Uh, you know, but, but on the large scale of things, yeah, that, there are going to be some people that's probably going to go schizophrenic over the loss of that. And not just that, I mean, uh, you know, you got your TV, uh, video games, uh, internet, you know, all that stuff's going to be uh, gone. And these people are going to that are addicted to it are, are not going to have that. So you're going to see some issues arise from it. Uh, some will be very mild. Uh, some may be, you know, pretty severe. Uh, you know, just you take a lot of young teens nowadays, uh, you know, their life is on uh, social media. And if, I mean, a lot of their friends, you know, they, they, they have discussions with their friends on this. Uh, you know, they, they see them in video chats, uh, stuff like that. I mean, you take that away, and you've taken their their world completely away. Uh, you know, th this can drive uh, people that uh, communicate that way in, into a mental state that's, that's going to be very unhealthy for them and everybody around them. Uh, give you an example uh, I mean like you all really probably don't need an example but I'm gonna give you one anyway uh, my grandson you know don't get me wrong you know I think the world of him, you know he's a he's a strong member in our mag but he likes his video games people uh, you know he's he served his time in the military you know, he's come home you know before he went to the military he liked his video games uh, He's, he's been like that, you know, forever. That was something that was used as a, uh, a babysitter for him. And, you know, it, it, it's, it's the way it happened. But he still has that uh, addiction to video games. Now, uh, you know, he, he goes, he works every day. Uh, he associates with his friends and stuff like that. It's not something that he craves. Uh, he is something that he has slacked off, but when he wants to relax, that's what he's going to do. He goes on there, he plays his games with his buddies, and uh, that's how they roll, you know. But eventually, and I, 
talked with him about this, that that's not going to be there one day, you know. And, you know, he says it's it's not a big deal, but, you know, we'll, we'll see. Uh, you know, I, I can admit to myself what my problems will be. Uh, you know, there's certain things that I like and uh, everything, and uh, they're, they're not going to be there no more. So, yeah, I'm going to have an issue with it. Uh, you know, it's just how it is. Uh, Y'all going to go through these same problems. Uh, if you're going to sit there and tell me, well, uh, I'm, I'm mentally prepared. I'm right. I'm ready. You know, the Lord's got my back. Yeah, I mean, he may have your back, but, you know, you're going to have some problems too, people. So don't don't fool yourself into sitting here and thinking you're not. Uh, you know, something else I want to uh, hit on with, since I get over this little rant here. Uh, the, the suicide rate among mental illness people, uh, they say that uh, 46% of the people that have committed suicide had a known mental illness. I, I disagree with that number. And th this is just my personal note that anybody that chooses to take their own life and end it has definitely got a, a mental issue. Uh, I, I just don't see any other way that it can be determined. Uh, it, you know, now, I can think of one reason as to why somebody would choose to end their life and it be acceptable in my eyes. And that would be somebody that is suffering from a terminal illness that, and I mean suffering, you know, they, they're, they're in pain, they're, they're going to die, they know they're going to die, they don't want to go through no more hurt, they don't want to go through no more treatments, no more, they don't want to deal with it no more people. And yeah, I can understand that. Uh, and I can see that being how it is. Just say like back during 9-11, you know, you had these people that, that took their own lives. Uh, because they were up in a tall building that was, they knew their time was up. They knew that they were going to die. And they decided to take, excuse me. Let me compose myself a minute here, y'all. I'll be right back. Pause this for just a minute. All right, I'm back, y'all. Sorry about that. I had to just step away for a minute. Anyway, uh, what I was saying, uh, you know, there, there are... Uh, what I feel like is acceptable times to when someone may decide to take their own life and because of the situation. Uh, doing a little bit more digging, uh, there is actually a lot of countries out there now that have, um, what do they call that, uh, medical assistance uh, of death, I think. But, yeah, I mean, it's kind of getting to be commonplace in some countries. Uh, you know, I don't, I don't know how to uh, respond to those, those countries that do something like it. I don't know what to say about that. You know, it's, it's one of those kind of situations that, I mean, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not in that situation. You know. I know what the Bible says. Uh, you know, God give you this life. You shouldn't take it. Uh, that's not the actual verse, people. That's it kind of just sums it up. Uh, but you know, I, I think there's times to, you know. You know, I'm, I'm just going to change this conversation up because I don't know. 
I, I cannot and will not and absolutely refuse to uh, assume what God thinks. So uh, I don't want to uh, make that mistake because I, I, I don't. Uh, and I'll never claim to. Uh, but anyway, uh, people in an SHTF situation, this is something that uh, you need to be ready to deal with. You can't prep for it. Uh, uh, you know, it just can't be done. Uh, trying to uh, learn some of the signs of it, uh, especially in your mag. Uh, you know, know your mag members, know them good. Uh, you know, you can probably point out, well, you know, let's say uh, Billy Bobop, he seems to be having a problem today. He's, he's moody, he's depressed. You know, just basically, I guess, let them know that, hey, you know, I'm here. I can listen. I can, you know, we can talk. Let's, 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 let's have a discussion. And, you know, they're going to be going through the same things you're going through. Uh, change of life, loss, uh, fear, uh, you know, all kinds of things. You know, y'all know the situation, people. Uh, but I guess that's kind of all I'm going to go with today on this. I've uh, gone on, you know longer than I wanted to. I like to try to keep these kind of short and sweet, but I think this one deserves a little bit more attention than a lot of the other ones do because uh, this is something that's unavoidable. Uh, it's you're, you're not going to be immune to it. Uh, if you're not suffering from it soon in SHTF, you will be suffering from it shortly afterwards uh, and like I say there's all levels all different kinds you know uh, hopefully uh, you know you'd be able to to deal with it and go through life uh, and what's what there is of life and uh, hopefully come out on the other side uh, all in one piece uh, safe healthy and happy uh, you know, that's the best you could hope for in an SHTF situation. Uh, you know, it's, it's coming, people. Now, being prepared, being prepped with uh, foods, uh, water, meds, uh, a good group of people, you know, things to keep you mentally active, such as reading, uh, playing games, uh, that kind of stuff, you know, it, I think it will help in the long run. But, like I say, you know, we're all going to suffer from mental illness in SHTF people. So I, I just can't uh, really add anything else to this. So, y'all, I'm going to cut this one off right here, right now. Y'all stay low, stay ready. Uh, if you have any comments, please leave them below. Uh, if you would, you know, maybe. Uh, if you're listening to this and you're not sub, please, if you would, sub up. Uh, that helps me at spread the word around. You know, the more subscribers that you have, the bigger your audience is. And uh, if you think this video could help somebody else out, uh, please share it by all means. Uh, it helps with the algorithm, uh, that, leaving comments, being subbed, all that stuff helps. Helps the channel to grow. Uh, and I appreciate all y'all coming in here and listening to this today. Uh, I know I got into a rant right here near the end. I uh, apologize for that, but uh, I, I think it's something that needs to be said, y'all. So y'all stay low, stay ready.